kitten. He got in behind the toilet. He stuck his head in the hole and now we can't get him out because he, he can't seem to pull his head out of the hole. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get him out. There's no quick and easy way to access the screws. The screws are right there on the side of the toilet. And when I try to turn it, it gets stopped at a certain point, so I can't turn it anymore. So thanks to this guy. What's your name again? Eric, to remove a toilet. It's been over a few hours now. <laughs> this kitten has been stuck in the structure of that toilet. And we think that the problem was that he could not push his body back out. Now we're gonna be able to help him. Uh, it was quite panicking, can you imagine? You, you hear the sound of a cat coming from the base of the toilet. And uh, you can see on the other side, his body. There's a, there's a little hole back here that he can't seem to get his head through, and we're a little bit scared of cracking the toilet, because I'm gonna hurt him. So we can stay back here. It's kind of an odd position. It's just that we can't. We've tried everything. We've tried lifting it up and, and um, working with gravity. We've oh, tried moving his uh, head different ways out and it just won't come out. So after sedation, she kind of wiggled the skull a little bit through the hole with the, the lubricant, it came through. The big ordeal is over, the kitten has been saved by the vet, and today he seems okay. Everything seems alright with him, he's a little kitten like he should be. At one point we were really scared. When we started thinking that we would have to crack the toilet open, me and Ashley had tears. We really thought we were going to lose our, our baby. 